Hi, Flex families. Welcome to Family Engagement Night. I am Mrs. Huber. A little bit about me. I actually started teaching in this district in 2003. I've always taught for Beaverton. And this year I'm teaching middle school language arts and high school writing. Getting to know your kids virtually has been amazing. You have amazing kids. There are rock painters, there are gymnasts, there are Minecrafters. There are so many variety of interests that I have such a fun time getting to know them. And I look forward to working with them more. The one thing I really wanna to talk to you about is reading. This year and every year, it's really important that your kids get lots of reading in. I say at least 30 minutes a day, but more is better. If we look at the statistics, Students who read at least just 20 minutes a day actually score higher on standardized tests because they have more access to ideas and vocabulary and all those other really good things that reading brings. A little bit more about reading, it stimulates your brain, it strengthens creativity, it boosts knowledge, it can alleviate stress, can increase empathy, and it's just kind of fun. So I really want your kids to be reading a lot. I have some resources that are available through the Beaverton School District and outside sources. If you go to our course orientation, you will find this where can I access books online, and then um, it will open to this page that actually, if you scroll down, there's tons of resources that are available. Some of them are easier to use than others. The top three that I would recommend is Sora. Sora is accessed through our Beaverton school district student bookmarks. It is the Beaverton School District Digital Library. If you go BSD Library Resources, you want to go High School and Options, Flex Online, and then you actually want to choose the um, eBooks. And then you will get to a page that looks like this. If students haven't yet, they will need to log in, but then they can use it. They can search for books. There's available now books. Other places they can get books is the Washington County Library. All students have access to electronic resources um, in the Washington County. They can also um, request books to be picked up and used at home. And then Epic, if your child has used it before, you might try it. Our class code is Y, or excuse me, WYJ3246. It is free only during school hours, after school, and on weekends. It is a, a paid service, so that one would be my third choice. I highly recommend the Sora and the Washington County, though. A little bit about our class. We started this year in Canvas. Students are now working through Apex. This week, they're working on Section 1.3. They do have a monthly novel response. And just so you know, students can revise everything for this course. The work in Apex is worth 75% of a student's grade. The work in Canvas is worth 25% of a student's grade. So you will want to kind of be making sure that they are getting both done, not just one or the other. Um, some resources that I have for you in Apex. So um, on our modules, this is our Apex Learning. Of course, the access to Apex is through Apex Learning. There is also access to a pacing guide that will help keep your child um, on, on, um, on schedule to complete by the end of the semester. And the important one that you might be interested in is the test retakes, because if your student has scored under 60% or they just want another opportunity, I need them to complete the study guide and submit it for my review, and then I will be happy to reset the test for them, and the instructions are all on Canvas. So the novel responses, um, there is a monthly novel response. Your student has options, they've already done one, um, but there are some options if they wanna do a written one. There are also options for drawn or videoed or some other, um, some other method. I'm hoping to, this link right here actually has some examples. I'm hoping to update that with some of the cool examples that your students put in there just recently. If you need to contact me, office hours are B days from 1230 to 125. Please raise a hand in there. It is pretty busy. And so if you don't raise a hand, I probably won't see you. Canvas email is a great place to get me. I haven't lost any messages yet, but if for some reason I don't get back to you by the next school day, please email me again and I will apologize that I missed your email. So happy reading and learning. I hope to be talking with all of you more. Please contact me if you have any questions. Thank you for sharing your students with me. Bye.